peace. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. <laughs> Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Right now, I want to, you know, give a, give a little information on uh, Rui Rakshas. You know, if y'all are familiar with him, not Rui Rakshas are basically seeds uh, found in trees uh, that only grow in uh, certain altitudes, too. And it only grow in certain uh, altitudes in the Himalayan mountain ranges. And uh, they are used as mala beads, mala beads, you know, uh, or malas that's used for, you know, for counting your breaths, your breathing, or your, uh, or affirmations, whatever the case may be. Matter of fact, this is kind of like when you see how all the, the religions kind of somewhat tie into each other where, you know, this is the equivalent to a rosary bead for the Christians, you know. But, uh, basically, you know, it, uh, it's used to uh, count your count your breaths or whatever, but particularly particularly with the uh, root raksha, the root raksha has a lot of uh, you know properties to it that could uh, you know that's very healing. You know, matter of fact, it was spoken of in the uh, Upanishads, the old Hindu uh, text. And basically, though, uh, another thing too, the root rakshas are considered uh, well the the. The, the the name Ru Raksha stands for uh, Shiva's tears in Sanskrit. So basically these are considered Shiva's tears. You know. And matter of fact, uh the story of that uh is basically that uh one day Shiva was sitting in meditation, you know, eyes closed for millennia and he did not open his eyes and he went into such a deep state of meditation that, you know, that he became so ecstatic you know, in his meditation that he had tears of, of ecstasy flowing. So basically he was in meditation and it became so ecstatic and that flow of kundalini energy was just so, you know, blissful that, you know, he just had ecstatic tears, you know. Basically, uh, and those tears of ecstasy fell on this planet and they became rude rakshas, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you get your rude rakshas, you know. Like, uh... I forgot how the virgin who explained this is I, cause I, uh, I got this story from a, a yogi I watched. Uh, and he was like, you know, this is may not be called a fact, but this is a truth. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, so this basically is uh, Shiva's tears. And matter of fact, speaking on that uh, that deep state of meditation, though, of feeling ecstasy that Shiva had, though, cause I remember like a, a DMT trip where I was connected with the omnipresence, you know, of source and it was just so it was just so blissful. It was just tears of joy it just started rolling down my eyes. Like I I was weeping like I was at a funeral, like, you know, like that hard, but because I was that happy and, you know, I that I finally, you know, it's just I don't even want to get off the subject, but yeah, I could understand, you know, where them tears come from. <laughs> But yes, this is basically uh, Shiva's tears, and uh, Ru Rakshas have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, health uh, properties to them too. And matter of fact, uh, it's one of them things where at first you know it was just in the Upanishads and the Hindu texts, but then you know after seeing what was spoken uh, uh, spoken on the bottom in the uh, Upanishads. You basically had scientists and, you know, people want to, all right, well, let's see if this is true. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like how, you know, you test the crystals for piezoelectricity to see if, you know, all right, do they really give off electricity, you know? But, you know, they actually did tests on them and find out that they do kind of carry a certain type of uh, electromagnetic uh, energy to them, you know? Matter of fact, it tr transmits an electromagnetic energy charge, matter of fact, by touching the skin. Even though I heard they still can have an effect on you from uh, from just wearing them. But also, though, too, what I found that most people stressed about the root rakshas is that uh, you, you want to stay away from the ones that you buy in a store, unfortunately. And I know everybody like, what? Wait, hold on. But, and when I say, you know, just any kind, you know what I'm saying? In essence, where, you know, root rakshas are... Uh, they need to be blessed, you know what I'm saying? They won't really carry that 
that vibration of what they really want, you know, supposed to carry out if they're not blessed. And, and in some cases, too, just like with anything, you'll have like fake root rockshas and things of this nature. But, you know, they they meant to, you know what I'm saying, carry a, 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 a certain vibration, you know, on a certain level, and you need a blessing for that. And speaking on that blessing, uh, you know, because I bought mine, you know, actually purchased mine from uh, Coyote Moon. No plug on Coyote Moon. <laughs> but, uh, and basically there's some other ones I bought too. As a matter of fact, you got the different, uh, what you call Mookies. The Mookies is a uh, different section. Like some of them have five. The most common uh, amount of Mookies is a uh, five, a five Mookie uh, root rocksha. It's basically separated in five parts. You can see the seams. I don't know if I could but it has like little seams running down the side. That's one right there. That's another one right there. Another one, another one, you know, but it's a, uh, yeah, they call MOOC, it's M-U-K-H-I. But yeah, they all have a, uh, and, and matter of fact, in each MOOC, it have a, a different property also. But not to get away from what I was gonna say, uh. <laughs> I, I went to, uh, you know, I bought them from, from a store, but I actually, you know, since I when I found that out, I'm like, all right, this is meditation time. This is altar time right here. So basically, I, I took them and, and got them blessed, you know what I'm saying, by by my spirit guides, by by some of the, the Orishas and Lavas that I work with. And I even had a surprise visit, uh, you know, like, which is like, it's still kind of like, you know, which is not crazy, but, you know, it, it's crazy to the ego. You know, the ego not used to these things. <laughs> but, like, uh, I actually uh, had a visit from Sri Utswar and uh, Paramahansa Yoga 9. Then I pictured both of them, like, like basically, like, sitting in the lotus position side by side. And they just was putting their hands over both of them. Because I had both of my Ruraksha uh, Malas sitting on, on top of my big uh, crystal quartz that's sitting, like, at right at the base of my altar. So I basically, you know, I, I matter of fact, I gave an offering to all all my uh, laws and Orishas that I'm working with. You know, I gave each one of them an offer. And I was like, because I, you know, and that's another thing, too, because I know y'all wondering, like, you know, well, hold on, this is some Hinduism. How you going to bring voodoo and the, the Orisha, you know, how you going to bring that all together? Well, you know, it's one of them things where just a, just a blessing in general, and I guess, too, when I was getting the entities to bless it, you know, I guess that's what Sri Uswar and 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 Paramahansa Yogananda came in to give that that extra blessing from, you know, from a place where you know where it comes from, you know, in essence, you know, from a familiar vibration, you know, in essence. But like, yeah, I, I got all my entities, you know, I let Toe, you know, Papa Leg Bar, everybody. I'm like, you know. Oh, help me. And then, too, I kind of, and I guess, in essence, I asked Papa Legba to open up that channel, too, to for my spirit guides and to connect with yogis and, you know, entities that's on higher astral planes to, you know, because even down to, like, with, with cry yoga or just some yogas or, or, or some abilities, some metaphysical abilities in general, you know what I'm saying, you don't necessarily have to learn them from a physical human, you know, you could, you could get the lesson from, from your spirit guides, you know, from somewhere high, you know, also. But basically, I got my root rocks just blessed by, you know, my pair of and, you know, and, and the tree use for us, so that was good. And matter of fact, I actually felt a difference, you know, afterwards. And this one right here, this one is a, a five Mookie, so it has five sections on it. And uh, matter of fact, let me get into more properties before I get too much in these stories. <laughs> but uh, root rocks just help to uh, release old karma. Uh, they sharpen the mind and increase focus. You know, also improves the memory, which you know that would go good with hematite and fluorite. You know what I'm saying? Because that's mental clarity. You know, basically, it uh, helps to heal wounds and injuries. It uh, improves the digestive system. And it controls blood pressure. Matter of fact, I think that's one of the main things that the, you know, scientifically that they kind of studied and saw 
that it really helps with the uh, blood pressure control, you know. So uh, that that that's some one of the you know main. So if you're looking for some some uh, physical evidence to rest your hat on, you know that's one of the things. You know that's one of the top properties of it as far as physically. Uh, it also uh, gives you a stronger connection to the five elements. You know, because matter of fact. And what's funny, you know, it gives you strong command of the five elements. And Shiva, you know, was basically had command over the five elements. So you can see that little connection right there. You know, and uh, also, Rurakshas help to uh, cleanse your aura. So, you know, whenever you got any, you know, negative vibrations, any tear in the aura, you know, that Rurakshas help cleanse it, help all that muggy vibrations get out of the, get out of the aura. And also another thing said about uh root rocks is uh which uh I haven't I guess more because of how natural you know the vibrations are in essence but you know and maybe because of some metals are like man-made and stuff is added to some metals you know it may t take from that natural harmonious vibration you know of the metals so you know I don't know but you know root rocks uh Malas made with root rocks are better made like with with string or yarn, you know, they're not used with, uh, they're not made with metal chains or whatever. And that was another important point that, uh, you know, that I found in the information. And also, uh, they could be used, uh, in, uh, testing water to see, uh, to see, uh, how healthy your water is or to see if, you know, if, 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 if say for instance, if the water, uh, that you're about to drink is, you know, is a safe instance of high enough alkalinity, just for example. But, uh, and they said to take your root rocks and put it over, you know, the water, and you'll see, and if it, uh, let's see, if it goes in a clockwise motion over the water, that means the water is good. And I think it was more in the reference of, like, uh, so, like, if you're out in the woods or something like that, you know, like you're somewhere with some type of, you know, water source that you can't trust, you know, you would, you know, put the root rocks your mile over it, and you'll see moving clockwise you know then the water is good and uh also uh some of the information on the chemical makeup of uh a rude rock which this would make a lot of sense that it's 50 percent 50 50 point oh three percent no 50 point yeah 50 point oh three percent so 50% carbon, basically, you know, because I'm bad at, I ain't took math in a while, so saying the tenths and all that, I'm, I'm probably going to slaughter that, but y'all just make it with me, y'all, y'all going to get the picture unless you're just trying to be, you know, egotistical, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's made 50% out of carbon, it's a uh, 0.95 nitrogen, so it's like less, like a little less than 1%, you know nitrogen it's a 17 point you can say 17.9 percent hydrogen which is 17.897 <laughs> and it's 30 30.53 percent oxygen of like about 30 30 and a half percent oxygen you know so basically you know but it's mostly made out of carbon and we all know what what shungite does for the body you know Shungite is carbon, you know, shungite uh, you could use to make detoxifying water, you could use it in your uh, in your bath water, you know, all these type of things. So, you know, with that carbon and the root rocks, you know, I would, I could, it's safe to say that a lot of the healing properties in it, you know, will come from the properties of carbon within it, you know. But, what else let's see it also protects you from uh psychic attacks so you know if you you know you know how that go we we raising our vibration you know and some people still in their ego you know may be a little sour about the situation and you know may wish a little bad on you you know and, you know sometimes you could feel it if it's strong enough it gotta be super strong depending on who you are. you know it gotta be you know, super strong to get to you depending on how high you vibrate. But you know, it helps protect you from psychic attacks, from, you know,
from actually feeling that person wishing that bad on you, where you wonder where that bad thought popped out of nowhere on you, or you know whatever case may be. Rude rock should help you, protect, you know, help protect you from that. And also, so I want to uh, get into the uh, the different mookies, which I'm gonna briefly go into some of the mookies because it's like a. Uh, it, you can have up is one to twenty one mookies, and it's even said to have twenty two, but there's no real reference for the twenty two uh mookie uh rule rocks because it's not a they don't have any uh ancient texts on it you know in the uh, Upanishad so you know it, it really stops at twenty one, but uh yeah it's one through twenty one uh mookies, and they all have different properties. I'm going to uh, go through a few of them, you know, just to give y'all a brief understanding on, you know. But uh, you have the uh, you have the one, uh, one-sided one Mookie. I guess you say one-sided. <laughs> but you have the uh, one Mookie Raksha. And it uh, helps to, uh, helps with your super conscious. It helps with migraines. And it helps with uh, diseases of the brain, you know. Like I said, there's just snippets of information. <laughs> you gotta, uh, and matter of fact, cause too, but I don't want to get into that, cause I'm not well versed in like you know in Hindu texts and stuff, and I feel like I wouldn't be doing y'all justice by even bringing up these names. But you know what? Nah, I'ma leave them alone. I'ma leave them alone. But uh, you got the uh, the two, the two uh Mookies, two Mookie Ru Rakshas, there for uh, unity and harmony to help you release fear and uh, to help you with insecurity. So that's the uh, the two Mookie. Then you have the three Mookie. The, uh, the three Mookie is uh, for releasing bondage of past karma, you know what I'm saying? To get away from all that, the past vibrations that's still, you know, messing with you, stopping you from ascending. And it also helps with the, uh, with the sickness of the stomach and liver. So you know, so the uh, the three mookie uh, help with stomach and liver, and release bondage of past karma. Then you have the uh, the four mookie. The four is for knowledge and creativity. And matter of fact, now that I see that I'm gonna make somewhat of a reference to this, I'm just gonna add, you know, the names to this also. So, say for instance, they also resonate with different uh entities you know or deities from the uh from hinduism you know and it also resonates with certain planets like say for instance i brought out brought up the one mookie the one mookie is associated with shiva and is associated with all planets then you have the two mookie which is uh, associated with and you see that's why they want to do this forgive me if i mispronounce ardhana ardhana Rishwar, Ardhana Rishwar, you know, goes with that deity, and that's dealing with the moon. Then you have, you have the three Mookie, which that deals with deity Agni, and it deals with the sun energy. And then you have for four, you have the four Mookie, and you have, uh, deals with Brahaspati, you know, and it deals with Jupiter. Because, matter of fact, reason why I want to go back and and, and and you know bring that up because uh you know the planets that is that it resonates with you know also resonate with that energy of that planet also so because Jupiter is about uh, knowledge and creativity you know and uh matter of fact and then you have the five Mookie the five Mookie is uh dealing with uh Rudra Kalagni and it's dealing with and it's also dealing with Jupiter and uh. The, the five Mookie amplifies chants and mantras, and it basically gives word power. You know what I'm saying? That's the one that I got right here. So, you know, trying to amplify that vibration of the word power, you know. And then, you know, I'm stopping at five, but you got from from five, you know, and all down to 21, you know. But I did see something at 17, and I want to reference because, you know, it it it, give, it lets you show how all the information kind of comes together and resonates with each other, you know, and that that shows you what's more of the truth. If it's across the board, no matter what person telling it to you, kind of all adds up. But uh, 
you have the uh, 17 Mookie, you know, and the 17 Mookie uh, deals with the deity uh, Katiana, wait, Katiayani, Katiayani Devi, Katiayani Devi, and it deals with Saturn. And the reason why I want to bring it up because it deals with Saturn and, you know, Capricorns. <laughs> you know, Capricorns are ruled by Saturn, you know. And as the, the vibration, you know, that we that we deal with, you know what I'm saying? The vibration of Saturn, you know, it basically has to deal with the vibration of the 17, uh, 17 Mookie Ru Raksha. As a matter of fact, the powers that deal with it is... Uh, Gives you immense power and divine magnetism, but it's uh, useful for project leaders, businessmen, political leaders, uh, and people des desiring growth and career. It's also good for good luck, prosperity, and immense fortune. You know what I'm saying? Like a matter of fact, like you know, who that who that who that sound like? You know what I'm saying? Other than a Capricorn, you know, that business-minded, ruled by Saturn, you know, structure, got to have it like this, business person got to have it like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, got to put this, got to move this, because it's not, it's off a little bit, you know? <laughs> that structured Saturn, you know? But as, that, that, there's no coincidence how, you know, the 17, you know, the 17 Mookie Ru Raksha has to deal with Saturn, and Saturn has to deal with, you know, that Capricorn energy and, and, and it goes into the root rakshas also, like it all resonates. So even though they got information on Saturn and all kind of other texts, you know, that, that same description of Saturn energy resonates in within Hinduism, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's all across the board, you know, the information add up. So when you see me... You know, you think like, man, what is he, is he confused? Why he got he got a Ankh, he got a Star of David, he got a mask guy, he got rude rocks on. Oh, you know, I thought he, I thought a roster can't do nothing. <laughs> uh, nah, it's, it's it's look, it's it's a connection that's way bigger. It's being open minded, and understand that this all come from one source of information anyway. You know, you know, like. Like say for instance, like with even being Rastafari, I'm not exclusively a Rastafari, you know, a Rastafari, you know, I'm not like yes, Rastafari is my liberty and my spirituality, but I'm a star, see, I'm a I'm a I'm a star child from you know, from source that been around for for millennium, like for eternity, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like the the history of Rastafari in Africa is just a piece of what everything is really, you know, and I say what everything is really about, but what, how much more it is to, to, to source in the, the whole entire, the universe in its entirety, which is infinite, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I always, you know, like, I'm connected with, with everything, you know, the stones, you know, because matter of fact, I got to tell people, Rastafari too is a part of my group, is what got me to, to where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, and it's one of them things where, you know, because I never want to be, I'm, like, whenever Rastafari becomes a cult or becomes, like, something that's just, well, no, you got to do this, you got to do that, then I, I denounce it, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, until then, it, it's still love, like, I, you know, like, because most Rastas you see is into, like, you know, a lot of facets of information, you know what I'm saying, and, and understand a lot about more than just Rastafari, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, that goes to show you, like, how, you know, it's the door opener, you know what I'm saying? Like, learn about Selassie, you know, that that magnanimous leader, that's a door opener, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to turn this into a Rasta lesson. We're talking about Rude Rogers. <laughs> but, you know, I just, you know, got into the sad and Capricorn engine, but just how all that information just resonated across the board. But... As a matter of fact, because uh, that's what I'm looking at the information too, uh, uh, the word is called moksha, you know, in Hindu, but that's the release from uh, karmic rebirth, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, also I've seen a lot of uh, a different mo uh, mookies that uh, help with that to help you release from, from that, that karmic rebirth of having to keep coming back, you know.
but peace happen now I hope my information was very, very helpful and useful you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying matter of fact I say that a lot in my videos I thank y'all for bearing with me because that's fact how you know how much I'm just being raw and authentic because I'm not trying to like you know why I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and, uh, and I can try to you know which if it get too bad I try to coach myself out of it but for the most part you know what I'm saying <laughs> Peace one more time. <laughs> Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Root Roxas. You know, if you get them, don't forget to get them blessed. And if you don't, you don't get no blessed ones, man. If you, but you gotta know. That's another thing. Before I finish this, because you gotta, you gotta know. That they're being blessed. Like when I connect to entities, I should have added that before I even kept going. But when I when I connect with entities, you know, I intuitively, you know, know that I'm connecting. You know what I'm saying? Because matter of fact, because when there's a disconnection, like say for instance, when I say for instance, I wanna I wanna go into connecting to an entity. Like when I go into it, I could hear the little voice say, Nah, Kari, uh, you're not in the right position, or you know, uh, you know grab this crystal, you know what I'm saying, to add to, you know, like, it, it, it's stuff like that make me feel like, all right, I'm not connecting, you know what I'm saying, so, when, so if you happen to purchase these from a store, you know what I'm saying, and you want to have that approach, you know, it got to go off of your own, you know, skill set as far as, like, metaphysical, you know what I'm saying, or your own clear, you know, clear abilities, you know, like, clairvoyance, clear sentence, it all depends on how much you have as far as to connect, but even then, you know, because my thing is, that's only to know that they've really been blessed, you know, but in essence, like I say, you'll feel it intuitively, even if you don't, like, if, even if you don't have that strong enough connection to really almost, like, visualize entities, you know, touching your stuff or whatever, you know, you'll know, like, after you ask for your spirit guides and entities to, you know, or some divine yogas on other astral planes to, you know, bless it, you know, just feel and wait, and if it, you know, a little voice is like, nah, nothing even came around, my brother, <laughs> my brother and our sister, ain't nothing even, you know, even came around, try again, try a different approach, you know, and then, then you know that, alright, they didn't get blessed, you need to try again, you know, but it's all on intuitively feeling, you know, that, that voice from the spirit, guys, but, again, <laughs> Bye for the third time. Peace. <laughs> Don't want to let y'all go, man. <laughs> Happy now. Now's the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now.